Hello and welcome to Amaranth Thane Art. Today I'm going to be showing you how I created a simple and quick card using the new stamp set by Lawn Fawn called Love Letters. I'm starting today's card by stamping out my images that I want to use with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink on some Nina Solar White cardstock as I'm going to be using some Copics to colour my images today. I won't be colouring all the images on the page but I like to stamp out multiples in case I make a mistake. So I'm going to switch on some music while I colour these images and just a note to let you know that I will leave a link in the description box below to my blog which will include all the supplies used in today's video including all the Copic colours that I've used to colour these images. So I'll switch on some music and I'll be back shortly.
Once I've finished colouring I then fussy cut those images out and for the background panel in which I want these images to sit I'm creating a scalloped edge on a piece of Canson watercolour paper using the Valentine's Border Dies by Lawn Fawn. Now these holes don't always come out properly when you die cut them so I'm just using my um, We Are Memory Keeper Stick It tool which has a um, a pointy end so it just pushes those holes um, out to create a nice scalloped and dotted edge. Now I wanted to add some colour behind these images, um, just a subtle colour so I'm using the Victorian Velvet Distress Ink in the centre of the page. Now I usually use distress inks either all over or around the edges but this time I decided just to add that colour right in the centre and then fade it out to white. So I'm concentrating a, a harder blend in the middle of the page and then using a softer hand to blend out those edges and then it will dry um, slightly lighter anyway um, but I, I like just having that pop of colour on a background just makes those images stand out a bit more. I then created another piece of scalloped edge cardstock so this time I used some baby pink cardstock that is from a local craft store and I'm mounting this onto a piece of lawn fawn um, paper. This is from one of their 6x6 six six paper pads. I can't remember the name of it, but um, as I said earlier, all the products will be listed in my blog in the description box below anyway. So I'll make sure that's included. So I've stuck that down to my card base just using some uh, double-sided adhesive and then I'm going to add a bit of foam tape to the pink and white background just to add a bit of dimension onto the card. Once I've stuck all the cardstock down I'm then going to move on to the sentiment and for this card I wanted to keep it really simple. So I used the I Love You handwriting sentiment from the Love Letter stamp set and I'm using my Memento Tuxedo Black Ink just to stamp that in the middle of that letter that I've previously stamped and coloured. And I'm going to use this as one of the little birds giving a love letter to another bird. So I'm using some dimensional foam tape just to stick all these images down. Um, and again, it just makes it stand out a bit more against that background. So you could use this card for Valentine's Day or anniversaries or just to send a little note to somebody to say how much you love them. Um, so I kept it really simple, um, really easy to do. You can easily mass produce these if you want to, um, but they're simple to do. You can mix up the colours and make lots of variations. You can change the sentiments. This stamp set has some really adorable um, little sentiments that you can use. So you can easily change up that wording in the letter. So to add some final touches to the card, I'm just adhering some Neat and Tangled and Simon Says Stamp sequins down to the card. And I'm using a variation of clear and very light purple and very light pink. I'm using my quick stick tool to help me stick these down and I'm adhering it with some glossy accents. So that will then finish off the card for today. This is a really quick and simple one. Um, I thought I would do something a little bit quicker than um, some of my other videos. So I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to give me a like if you did enjoy watching this and leave me some feedback in the comments. I'd love to know what you think. Please subscribe to keep up to date with my latest releases and I'll be back next time with another video. Bye.